Sweden, it could become necessary to close down parts of society. Sweden's government warns of more COVID-19 restrictions Sweden may close its restaurants and gyms Public Health Agency, warns of a very high number of COVID-19 cases in Sweden. Sweden's health minister Lena Hallengren announced that it could become necessary to close down parts of Swedish society, adding that there is a tangible risk of a third wave of COVID-19 infection. A third coronavirus wave is underway in Europe. We have to be vigilant, she said at the recent press briefing. The country's government, which was previously hesitant to institute strict COVID-19 restraints, has now mulling vastly expanding its lockdown powers, as Sweden prepares for a third wave of infections. More than 19,600 nationwide new cases of COVID-19 were recorded in the latest weekly report, published by the Swedish government on February 12. The government already has powers to close down shopping malls. Officials now want to be able to close down all retailers, restaurants, gyms, hair salons, and swimming pools, and restrict the operations of amusement parks, zoos, museums, and art galleries. Under the plan, local authorities would be given powers to limit activities in public parks and bathhouses. All of these proposals will be presented for further consultations by February 26, the government said in the statement. The new rules will likely come into effect on March 11, according to local media. Unlike many European and fellow Nordic countries, Sweden has been very reluctant to impose strict coronavirus restrictions, such as a nationwide lockdown or mask mandate. Officials have relied heavily on people voluntarily following health recommendations and on contact tracing. The policy, which came to be known as the Swedish model, has drawn criticism both at home and abroad. Sweden's reigning monarch, King Carl XVI Gustav, said in December that the strategy proved to be a failure. The rise in infections prompted Sweden to adopt a pandemic law in January 2021, which allows for more restrictive measures. The country strengthened border control earlier this month, requiring foreign nationals to present a negative COVID-19 test upon arrival. Over 622,100 people have been infected with the coronavirus in Sweden since the start of the pandemic, and nearly 12,600 have died, according to government data.